hospitalizing. As usual, we would have this two and three hours conversation because you can't get away from that. That's true. So you know, there's some way to be safe. But I make, it, I make it a point that when I go to Sister Scabala, I get nothing to do. I make it a point that I do nothing at all. I, I don't even plan lunch. Because you don't get away from her easy. And I, I, I grew up from an usher in the church from 1970 up until this hour, but Sister Natalie Scabano was one of those persons that I look at as one of the pillows of Hillside. She was one of the, the shakers and movers of Hillside. She supported this church with everything that she had. And she never once made an attempt, or I never heard once, that she was going to leave inside. Well, she taught me a whole lot of stuff. I went to talk with her one day and said, this is going to be the best one because I planned nothing at all to do. And I went and I sat with her. And she began to reminisce the way back young then. When she is talking, you leave her alone. You say, yes, ma'am. OK, no, ma'am. All depends. You don't cross her. You let her have her way. And I thought that allowing her to do that would allow me to get away when I'm ready to go. But I was mistaken. Well, you're going to get away from her easy. And she began to say to me, uh, she said, you know, I was married in 1943. I said, good God, that's before I was born. <laughs> she said, you see that man sitting there? He said, Pastor, I love that man. He said, Daddy, he said, he took good care of He took good care of his children. But she went a little bit further, she said, he said, all these years, Pastor, he said, Daddy had never once lift his hands to hit me. So that's why I love him so much. I said, yeah, thank God for the year when you and them was born. Because these days, these days. So when you look back, that she was married in 1943, it means then that they were together for 72 years. Yeah. Nowadays, we have a problem to live two years together. And peace of God. Sister Scavala was an awesome woman. But you know, the best thing I learned about her is her love that she had for God. She loved her God so much. Three days before she was hospitalized, I went to see her because I got I understood she wasn't doing too good. And when I walked in, they brought her. She was laying at the couch, and she said to me, "I said, Sister Savala, how are you doing?" She said, "Pastor, she said, I am in the hands of the Lord." And she repeated that twice. But I was waiting for her to go a little bit further with the conversation. But she wasn't bothered with a conversation. She said, I am in the hands of the Lord. So after she went to the hospital, Halsey called and told me that mom was hospitalized. I went to see her. I got up there. I met her there. And I was talking with Sister Savala. I said, Mom, how are you feeling this evening? She said, Pastor, I am in the hands of the Lord. She had that smile on her face. But she continued to say, I am in the hands of the Lord. <coughs> Brothers and sisters, I know no better place to be than to be in the hands of the Lord. Yeah. So I have, I have no doubt within myself that Mother Scalala <coughs> is with the Lord. You see, the way you live is the way you will die. Yeah. 
a lot of us believe we can live like the devil in hell and because we have a good church service that will take you to heaven. But brothers and sisters, may the life you live speak for you. And sister Stavala, like that, what you heard before God up here and say, and he don't lie about that. I was with her for 43 years, off and on, off and on. And I used to visit her regularly. And let, let me say, let me say to all children in this place, if, if, if we know, if we only know, please take pattern after oh, yeah. the Scavala family. I don't know if it is because they, they, there's a big family, but you know, I have never ever once visit Mother Scavala and Brother Scavala and some of our children was in there. So after, 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 and so uh, retired. Every single time I go to that house, I eat them. I don't care what time I go. He was there. They took good care of their parents. Oh, they did an awesome job. They did an awesome job. And not only that, they be there with them. I, and I, I have to say this, but you would meet them cooking. That's right. For mom and dad. Now I. I am convinced they couldn't do it more. They have done their best. That every time, and I, I, I notice this, that every time I walk yeah, to that yeah, house, yeah. if I go there three times a week, one time a week, and three times a month, whatever time, some of the children are there. They are never alone. God bless you for that. And I am positively sure that Mother Scavala and her husband they appreciate what you do. And she said to me, she said, Pastor, I don't have to worry about nothing. Said, my children take care of us. I said, I never work. Say, see that man there, Daddy? He provides for me and the children. He said, now the children is taking care of us. Don't get better than that. Don't get better. If I don't meet the children, I'm going to meet the grandchildren there. The point is, they are never alone. But well, that's half the same. So let's get on with the word. <laughs> Amen. God be all the glory. I want to speak to you today. God rest her soul. And my brothers and sisters, y'all can, can share up. You know what kind of money you all have. You know what kind of money you all have. So you don't, you don't have to weep. You weep because it's a departing and you're feeling. But she had done her best. I, I like to sit with her, like Reverend Ferguson says, I like to sit with all the folk. That's where I learn. You would come here, Bishop Johnson, Assistant Pastor, and myself, you would sit on the step while praying with that things is going on, and we would just try. I just like to be with them. Now, I wish I could offer some of that to some of our young folks. Today, today, there is a word from the Lord, I can guarantee. I want to speak to you from the 23rd Psalm, but one verse, the fourth verse. Yea, though I walk through the valley and the shadows of death, I will fear no evil. And I want to speak to you on the team, consider your challenge. Or let us consider our challenges. My brothers and sisters, life at best, and this is my cliche, is very brief. Yes. <clears throat> Life at best is very brief. It is like the falling of a leaf. Yes. But I am so glad <coughs> that.